Free Guy, the brand new Wine Wales film, which is essentially a Truman Show inside a video game. And the thing about this movie is that knowing the plot is, hey, here's Guy who lives inside a GTA, Grand Theft Auto Online type game called Free City. And he lives the same life over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. And to the point he's like, you know, there has to be more to life. So he becomes a player. A non-playable character becomes a, a, a player, but without, but instead of blowing up buildings and, you know, being out non-playable characters and driving through the streets or side diving, all that type of stuff, he's decided to do the superhero thing. He decided to do, oh, stop you, you do it. When trouble's here, I'll be there. And he's helping players and, you know, players in need. And the big issue with the movie I found was, like, this movie's getting a lot of critical points, but what I found with the, the major problem with this movie is two major problems, really, is that the negatives outweigh the positives. And it's only two things. Like, the performances are really well done. Um, it's funny. It, visually, it, it's gorgeous to look at. But... The plot is super thin. It feels like they had a plot for like a 45 minute, maybe 60 minute short film and they switch it out to try and fit two hours in it. Because the whole time watching this movie, like I get it, it's trying to let us learn about the characters, it's trying to make us be invested with these characters, with, with Guy and his situation. But the whole movie, I'm like, this just feels like it's getting dragged. It has major pacing issues. It doesn't feel like... The plot feels like stuff is happening just for the sake of happening. It, nothing feels very fluent at all. And it's kind of like sizing itself with all the jokes and all the... Um, you know, the charm that, yes, Warren Wells has and Taco T has. It kind of feels like because they got those two actors, they, that all of their jokes and, and all of the the stuff they do can just fill it, fill the rest of the the extra forty, you know, the extra fifty five minutes, and it doesn't. You know, they're trying to have us be invested between uh, Guy and um, uh, Jody Corner's character, and have this kind of relationship, but it doesn't. But because there's all this crap going on, or it just feels so tacked on, if like everything feels tacked on, even though you know some moments that are leaning towards those those things, even though it does feel very tacked on, and you don't want that. You want the gears moving. You don't want slightly it's clunking away. Um, and the thing is, like sometimes this movie feels like. Because it's a video game, we can say the way fuck physics or how the fuck did one character show up. Like, because Guy's doing the whole, oh, when you were there, I will be there kind of thing. He pulls Batman shit, like him just showing up. And it's not like when Batman does it and it's like, cool. When he, when Guy does it, it's like, hold on a second. How did he got there? Like, he just pops out. Well, it was a video game, and we don't need to explain why, do we? It's like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. You know, I kind of... I would kind of like to know how did... what, How did Guy know where was this character? Because in this, in the previous scenes... It wasn't there. They didn't have that fluent decision. There are scenes that feel so tacked on and switched on. Definitely, there's a scene with um, uh, uh, James Tatum's um, character in this film. It's a, it's, a, it's a small wall. But it was fine at the beginning, but it dragged on. You got the guy's best friend that felt so dragged and just filling up time it's just I it's just not a film that 
and I'm, I, I, I have to say, like, as I said, the performances are, are great. It is funny. The phys the the action's good, and, the, and all the spectacle side of things, and the visuals of the film is good. But the actual story is so thin, I, I couldn't be invested of what was happening. And, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where, like, there's those movies out there where most people are going to like. Well, you're the one who's like, hold on a second, I, I'm probably missing.